Today, we are opening Yu-Gi-Oh!'s hottest set of the year so far, Maze of Millennia. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Cardbreaker. Welcome back to another epic video. 2024 just started, and it's already shaping up to be a spicy year with Maze of Millennia. Let's see if we can pull any of the hottest cards that are featured in this brand new set. Before we crack into this box and see how amazing this set might be, We'll be going with these two ultimate rares that were gifted by K Dragon to two lucky winners. Thank you for a chance to win. Make sure you leave a like on today's video. Make sure you are a subscriber. Make sure you guys ring that bell. And let me know your honest thoughts of this set. Do you think this has contender for set of the year? I know the year just started, but be sure to let me know your thoughts down below on this box. But let's get into this box and just see how good it might be. All right, let's take a look at our box before we do crack into them. I do have two we're going to be opening today. So very exciting set because obviously you do have the bonfire, the most hype card of the year. The pre-sale prices were insane. Every Yugi tuber was covering it besides me pretty much. So we obviously have got some really cool cards in this set. I am most excited for the Flame Swordsman kind of retrains and support. So just a very beautiful booster box. I like the continuation of the kind of maze, you know, maze of memories, maze of millennia. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do for next year. Now, the reason we have two boxes and why this one's a little bit special, a little bit different so some of these packs are going to go to channel members. So for those who do not know, if you are a member of the channel, I do 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 free box breaks for you guys based off of like your membership tier and everything. So my Asgardian members will get two packs and the All Father members will get four. The rest of the packs, I think there's 30 total packs so I'm going to go into the channel members. The rest of them I will crack for myself just to see what we can get because we got to have some fun sometimes. We're going to do the usual. I'm going to actually shuffle up all the packs from these boxes and just split them up and let's see what we're going to get. I've got all of our packs shuffled up. We're going to grab a couple random kind of like box breakers, I guess you could say. So let's go one, two, three, and four. These first names. So first one here. Let's go one, two, three, and four. Let's just see who we've got. So big shout out and thank you to all my channel members. Let's kick us off with Mr. Michael P. Sutton. Let's finally get him something really good from a box break. Like these, this isn't like a, a box break per se. This is just a thank you to all of my channel members who do support the channel support the box breaks. So if you guys are ever interested in joining in in any big box breaks or like discounts or things like that, or you want free breaks, you know, consider joining as a channel member. This is no way to coerce you guys into joining. It's just as a thank you. This is a, this is what I do. This is what I do for you guys. So you guys can get this stuff too. Here we go. First time look at this box on the channel. Let's see what we've got. We've got a Supreme King Dragon Dark Swarm. The contain, it is containing something a Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. So just a super rare in our first one. Mad Spectre Cyclone, Supreme King Rescue, and the Earthbound Immortals. So Mr. Mike starting us off a little bit slow. But like I said, we've got 30 packs on the left side. Those would be all for the breakers. And I kind of, I shuffle them up just like I do with our usual live box breaks. So this should be completely randomized. I'm hoping that we see a collector's rare, maybe that quarter century rare, but you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. A Hornsaurus, Earthbound Prisoner Groundkeeper, and a Phoenix Gear Blade. So just two supers so far, but I really am a big fan of the set just because there's so much cool stuff. So obviously we've got Earthbound support in here, Ultra Geist. The, the Flame Swordsman stuff, though, truly takes this stuff like way above anything else, pretty much. You know, I know it's not going to be meta relevant. It's just really cool to see they finally kind of supported the guy way back in the day, the classic Joey Wheeler monster. So let's see if we can actually pull one of them today. We've got the Ultra Geist Protocol, Mirage Swordsman. This is another cool one, too. So this is Mirage Knight. I am upset though. I am very upset that they printed Mirage Knight, but nothing for Dark Flare Knight. Konami, I am hurt. <laughs> I am very hurt that we did not get some support. Mirage Swordsman. Oh, here we go. I got our first hit. Match Vector Crow. We've got the Reinforce, and it is the Fighting Flame Sword, not the Swords Man, the Fighting Flame Sword. I don't think any of those cards are worth a bunch of money from this set, but our first hit is going out to Mr. Mike and getting us that flight Fighting Flame Sword. So we got him an Ultra. I'm hoping that everyone gets a little bit of something. That's why I wanted to shuffle these packs just as much as I could. Make it a little bit fair, distribute the love a little bit. Supreme King, the Jet Synchron, and the Arcana Force XV. That's 14. The Fiend. I think that's I think that's 14. 14, maybe 15? <laughs> I really can't remember. I'm horrible. Horrible with the numbers. The Fiend. We've got the Satellite Synchron, 100 Eyes, Alert, and Earthbound Greater Line Walkers. That... Is that a new one? I know, I think there was like some random new card that came out with this set for the Earthbound cards. I really can't remember what it is. You guys gotta let me know down below. Let's go into number two. Mr. Box Breaker, Box Breaker number two. Who do we got? Oh, it's another person with four, Josh Evans. I know Josh has been hitting me up. He's like, dude, when are we gonna do the break? When is the maze opening coming? I'm like, everything has just been delayed right now because of the storm that we had that came through over here in Washington. 
So I'm sure a lot of you on the western, like north northern side, the western side of the, of the country, you can relate a little bit. It's been a little bit rough. Here we go, Josh. Let's get you something spicy, my friend. The Horned Saurus, Earthbound Prisoner, Groundkeeper again, and the Kaido Terra. Alrighty, just a, a pterodactyl, strange kind of monster, Cabrera Stone, a Sun God, Earthbound Immortal, and the Ultra Geist Multi Faker. Will we see the Bonfire? That's the big question, though. The card that really just blew up. Like, to get some Pyro support, this is the year of Pyro. We've got Fire Kings and everything coming out. It is crazy. Totem Pole. Uh oh, we got something. What you got, Josh? Mad Spectre. We've got the Ring Announcer. And it is an <laughs> another Fighting Flame Sword? Really? Like, what are the odds of pulling two of those? It's not a collector's rare, right? Yeah. Not a collector's rare. What is? What are the odds of pulling two of those in basically two mixed up boxes? Uh, I don't know. I didn't actually look up all this stuff from this set. I've only seen a couple openings. I think like when Ruxin did his first one, I checked that out. Just because it seemed interesting. We've got a Flame Swords Dance. So this is another one with Mirage Knight. Nothing on there for Dark Flare Knight. Konami, I'm upset. We're going to have to fight about that one. Ultrageist and the... What is this? Colorless Chaos King of Dark World. Why do some of the coolest cards only get a super rare print? Like, you could have definitely given that guy an ultra rare and we would have all been happy. Or a gazelle, king of mythical beast, you could have gave that a collector's rare. I think the the fusion one, Chimera, actually has a collector's rare print in this set. So that's cool at least. You know, I'm glad that they're kind of giving some homage and favoring the older cards from back in the day. It's kind of what the maze of, you know, memories did. It gave us the gate guardian stuff. So now we've got some other really cool stuff too. All right, last pack for Josh, Earthbound Lifewalker, the Ultra Geist, and the Ashoka Killer. So just an Ultra for him, but hey, you know, he actually took home an Ultra, Mike took home an Ultra, so it's pretty good so far. Let's see who's going to pull us the first Collector's Rare. That's the big one. So number three box breaker is going to be my guy, Rare Hunter X, with two packs. So let's pull these two from this side. Go straight into them, Rare Hunter. Go check him out. Some of these people that are channel members actually have their own YouTube channels as well. Rare Hunter X, he's been a little bit busy with some stuff IRL, so he hasn't been like posting too many videos lately, but still go support the homie. We want to support everyone. Ultra Guys Protocol. We've got the Mirage Swordsman. Rescue Ace Turbulence. Uh, the, I know Rescue Ace got hit with the ban list. I don't know what really really is in this set too much that helps support it, I guess. I haven't, like, like I said, I didn't keep up too much with it. I don't keep up too much with meta stuff because I'm more of just a collector, not a player. One day, one day we'll get there and start actually playing the game. Alrighty, Rare Hunter, let's see what we can finish on your packs and get us something good. Emergency, and it is the Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. Unfortunately, Mr. Rare Hunter X just got a couple supers. No, uh, nothing big, but you know, just this is a big thank you to everyone, of course, who is a channel member. Again, thank you guys for all that you do. If you're interested in joining a channel member, there is a link down below. Speaking of supporting other people, a Mr. Attention Duelist with two packs. Go support him as well. So support all your fellow Yugi tubers. It's a grind out here. You know, it, it, it is a grind. We have fun doing what we do. We love what we do. And now let's love everyone back and get them something good. Combat Wheel, the Mirage Swordsman, Earthbound Prison. So there is a super... We've got the Supreme King, a full armored Black Ray Lancer, an Earthbound release. Come on, Attention Duelist. He has participated in quite a few box breaks. Like just recently, he did the Crimson Crisis box open, which you guys haven't seen that. Go check that out. It was pretty crazy. Let's see if we can return to love and get him something good. Altergeist. We've got another Altergeist, and it is the ah, another Arcana Force. Unfortunately, didn't uh, didn't force us anything too good from those packs. You know that's gonna happen sometimes. Let's go one. Two, three, and number four. Here we got number one. Let's go into the first person. We've got Mr. Sargoni666, also known as Platime, with two packs. So one, two, almost finishing off our left side of kind of our hypothetical box, I guess you could say. So this is the first time I think I've done a video style for channel members. So I hope you guys do like this. Of course, it's kind of different. We've got to contain the Doppel Warrior, not Doppelganger. Double Warrior and an Earthbound Servant, Geo Griffin, Supreme King, Mad Spectre, and Supreme King at Gate Zero. But I do hope you guys like this. I thought it was it was a little bit different. You know, we're obviously getting some maze openings out. We uh, we're a little late. We're a little late, a little bit late, of course. So you know, hopefully that we actually get something good from these boxes. Double Warrior, the Contain, and is the Ultimate Flame Swordsman. So this is the one that I personally want to see as a collector's rare. You know, obviously we'd love to get the bonfires a collector's rare, but. You know, if we we're to get one that is strictly just for looks and everything, the Ultimate Flame Swordsman would be the one to go. That is for sure. Let's see who we've got. I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't get to our packs yet. And it is Mr. Drew E. Just Drew E. That's all it is. Drew E. <laughs> we've got two packs for him. 
All of our, again, all of our Asgardian members do get two packs, and the All Father members do get four. Just as a, just as a thank you. That's part of your membership. It's part of you joining and supporting the channel. Older guys, Marion Atir, Earthbound Lion Walker, Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. Are we gonna get this card every single time? Fighting Flame Dragon Supreme King. Earthbound release. Can we see something different? We've gotten two Ultras so far. I'm really hoping I didn't shuffle them all to my side. That was not the point of doing this. The point of this was to give back to the box breakers and, or the channel members this go around. So I'm hoping it didn't work out that way. Supreme King, Jet Synchron, Flame Swords Realm. This is another cool one. So my guy Flame Swordsman is just straight up chilling back there in the flames and having a good time. Somebody has got to pull us something big. Like again, I'm going to be for feeling really bad if we don't get something big for our channel members. Mr. Lazy Dane coming in with two packs. Brandon joined us on that recent Soul the Duelist opening. Box break and pulled him something really good. So go check out that video if you haven't. We've had some pretty nice openings so far for 2024. Let's really bring it some good stuff so far with this box. I know I'm not feeling too great. Doppel Warrior and another Chaos King of Dark World. So I'm guessing this has something to do. We yeah, have something to do with the Dark World cards. So cool to see that they're still supporting an archetype that came out so long ago. I'm thinking what, uh, was it Elemental Energy? I think it was Elemental Energy it was the first set that introduced the Dark World cards. So just, hey, we've opened up quite a few boxes of those on the channel. You guys have known. <laughs> You've seen those before. Let's get something good. Come on, guys. Ultra guys, Marinatir, Earthbound, Linewalker. Come on. Salamandra, the Flying Flame Dragon. Just another super. I have a feeling we shuffled everything over to my side. And I'm going to feel really guilty, really bad. I might have to do like a private giveaway for you guys. Here we go. On to the next one. Just a couple packs left. My guy, K-Dragon. He's going to take them all. K-Dragon's luck is just insane. You guys have seen openings on the channel where we pulled some of the craziest cards all in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And K-Dragon has been on the winning side of that every single time. There's going to be a bonfire in his packs. I can almost guarantee it. There's going to be. Got an Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken. That's one of the new ones, I think. Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker. Hundred Eyes Dragon. Our first pack, we've got something for K-Dragon. Hundred Eyes Dragon. Salamandra with Chain. And it is the <laughs> Triple Tactics Thrust. Not quite the bonfire that we were looking for, but I know this card is actually still pretty pricey. So I know K-Dragon is going to be happy to see that one. Of course, he is the one who pulls it. You know, I love you, K-Dragon. I just, I got to give you crap, man. You know, it wouldn't be a good friendship if we didn't just, didn't poke and prod at each other and just have some fun and fight back and forth. But dude, your luck is just insane. You know, you and I are meant to be. It, it really is. You and I are meant to be good friends and you're meant to send me stuff to open for you. We've got the Desynchro. Are you kidding me? He's got another card. Ring Announcer, Reinforce, and it is the Ancient Chant. He has taken home all the good cards. Code Hack, Earthbound. You guys saw, like, I didn't, you didn't see that I shuffled them exactly, but I shuffled these packs all up. I shuffled up all of our names. So, K-Dragon, you're welcome, bro. You are very welcome. You got us the Ancient Chant so far and the Triple Tactics Thrust. Kind of kind of crazy they already reprinted that card, but it, it was needed. Like, it was really needed. Had an ultimate reprinting already, plus the secret. Now it's got the ultra. Emergency, ultra geist, the ultimate flame swordsman. So we finally struck out and didn't get him an ultra from this box. But hey, I know he's not I know he's not sad. You know, we're happy to I'm I'm happy. Again, I just gotta give him crap. Because <laughs> his luck is just so busted. And I know everyone else is thinking the same thing. Like, really? K Dragon wins it again. But that's just the way that goes sometimes. Jet Synchron, Mirage, Swordsman, and the Chaos King of Dark World. So he went two. Two out of four, pretty much half of his packs were loaded. And he got the good Ultras too, not any of the bad ones that you don't want to see from this set. So he actually did really well. Let's see who we've got left. I think there's, looks like there's three names in here. So let's just pull these out. One, we've got two, and then three. So that's all of our channel members. Again, thank you guys so much. Let's see what we're going to get. My guy Cody, he doesn't watch as much of my content as he used to. I wish he would. Wish he'd chat some more down in the comment section, but he's just a busy guy. He's got a newborn. He has a daughter, so I just I know he's busy. <laughs> but Cody, I love you, bro. We've been best friends since sixth grade. Nothing's gonna change that. I appreciate you just supporting the channel. You know even, that means a lot, of course. So here we go. Let's try and return him the favor and get him something good. Earthbound prisoners. That like weirdly stamped now. Just just a reflection. Aldergeist. We've got the rescue ace turbulence. So unfortunately, just a super for my guy Cody. It's going to pack number two. Last time we did a free box break with, uh, I think it was Rarity Collection. Wasn't it Rarity Collection? Yeah, he actually got him a triple, with a triple tactics talent. I think quarter century rare, so he actually took him some really good stuff. Earthbound, we've got the Ultrageist, the Arcana Force. So this, seems like this guy and that Geo Griffin are like the only two supers that you see. Are there, there've gotta be more supers in this set. We just haven't seen very many of them. It's just a bunch of duplicates so far. 
Here we go. Come on, Cody. Let's get you something good, man. Flame Swords Dance, the Emergency, and the Armor XZs. So we are uh, 0 for 3 right now for Cody. 0 for 3. That's because K-Dragon took home everything. We've pulled, what, four Ultras so far? So I think that's actually box equivalents. Let's see if there's any more hiding inside of these packs. Mirage Swordsman, the Desynchro. Here we go. We got something. Ring Announcer, Reinforce, and it is the Collector's Rare Ancient Chant. <laughs> Cody, you know what is crazy? I say K-Dragon has some of the craziest luck. Cody really does. When I used to, you know, back home in Mississippi, my guy Cody would just open up some random stuff. Him and his wife would pull the absolute best cards in the set. So he doesn't even need to open the stuff, and we're just pulling absolutely incredible cards. So if it's not K-Dragon, it's going to be Cody. And we did it. We actually managed to pull a collector's We're out of two boxes. We hope there's still some stuff left for our last two of the channel members in this box break. We've got my guy, call me Corey Ray. Let's, uh... You know, him, Sargoni, who hasn't really hit a lot of big stuff? Mike hasn't hit a bunch of big stuff. You know, one day it's it's going to turn around. You know, I'm just blessed and thankful you guys do support the channel, even though you don't always get the best pulls from these free box openings. But hey, you know, at least you get that chance. We've got the Supreme King, Horned Saurus, and a Flame Swords Realm. A super just to start us off with. You know, regardless, this is this is fun. It's kind of like a friendly competition against you guys. I know, uh, you know, obviously K-Dragon and Cody always seem to take home the best pools. That's just how it goes sometimes. But it is like a little friendly, fun competition that we have. Supreme King, the Contain, and come on, not a rare, or not a super is what I meant to say. Phoenix, Gear, Blade. So unfortunately, Corey Ray did not take home anything. This go around, I'm sorry, my bro. That's just how it goes sometimes. This last person's got to be Mark. Yes, it is my guy, Mark. So Mark Donnelly finishing up with these last two packs. Let's see what we can get him. We've got, uh, we've only pulled four Ultras, so that means that there are either two Ultras in his two packs, or I managed to get four Ultras in my packs. <laughs> Let's see, Mark. Earthbound Linewalker, Earthbound Servant, Armor XZ. So, uh, he might go one for two. He might go one for two. Can we at least get him an Ultra? I think almost everyone has got just about something. I think so. So let's see. Come on, Mark. Are you going to get something good in your last pack? I'm hoping that I didn't take all the good stuff. Flame Swords Dance, the Ultra Guy smearing a tear, and the Ashoka Pillar. Well, it's looking like that's how it's going to go down. It's looking like I'm going to open up the rest of these 18 packs, and uh, we're just going to see how it goes. You know, maybe we got some weird air box and just didn't get all that good stuff, but, you know, we just, we got to see how it goes. Let's see if we're going to get some stupid luck and get that bonfire, because there's still four Ultras that are yet to be pulled from these boxes. I gotta make sure I keep everyone's stuff a little bit separate. I gotta go through and separate it all out after this, of course, opening. Got the Ultra Guys Protocol, Doppel Warrior. <laughs> Starting us off with our first pack. What is gonna be on our first pack? Magicter Spite, Cyclone, Extinguish, and is the Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know what this really applies to, but it actually looks really, really nice. But obviously, it's cool to see some Synchro support stuff. That's actually my personal favorite summoning type of like, you know, like, what, what do you call it? Like, Special summoning? I guess it's all like special summoning, but very cool to see, you know, of course, first pack magic for the boy card breaker. Let's see what's waiting for us inside the rest of our packs. We already managed to get one of the ultras, so uh, again, I'm sorry to my uh, my channel members. I did not mean to shuffle them this way. It's just how it goes sometimes. The Combat Wheel, Earthbound, and Prisoner Stone Sweeper. Still a very fun set. I, I wanted to see the Chimera, like the Chimera, the Ultimate Fighting Flame Swordsman, those in particular are the two uh, collector's rares that I'm going to have to pick up eventually once the prices settle. Everything is just too expensive right now. We've got the Horn, Saurus, the Kaitera, Kaito, Kaito Terra, not Kaitera, Kaito Terra, Supreme Rage, Salamandra, Earthbound, and Supreme King. But I'm definitely going to have to pick those up just because, you know, how can you not want to grab a really classic retrain of Flame Swordsman? And then, of course, the Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. You got to. Earthbound Servant Geo Grasha. That's our actual first time seeing that one. That card actually looks really nice. Cool to see the, uh, you know, of course, Earthbound cards getting some support this many years later. What was the first set that had Earthbound cards? Was it, uh, was it Raging Battle? Raging Battle, I think, had some. Ancient Prophecy had some. I don't remember what was the first one, though. I can't think. Maybe it was, maybe it was Raging Battle. I think that, that might have been the first one. Combat Wheel, and, well, speaking of, another one. We didn't get one in all of those packs. We actually managed to get two back-to-back. -back. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> What are the odds? Everything was just so shuffled up, so random. Do you think we're going to get another Collector's Rare? You know, do you think we're going to get a Quarter Century Rare? Because it is possible. We've got, uh, I think it's Junk Warrior. Is it Junk Warrior? I believe is the, the Quarter Century. Mirage Swordsman. Oh, here we go. We got something, guys. Supreme King, Millennium, Revelation, and it is another Ancient Chant. 
Well, I, I know this card hasn't been printed since the uh, le was a Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. Now, here we go. We've got a couple printings of that one. So we've got the Collector's Rare and, of course, the Ultra Rare. I don't know how much this stuff is. I don't know how much prices have changed or dropped or gone up for some stuff since release date. We're going to pop those up before we see what they got. I, I am, again, very heartbroken. We did not get something for Dark Flare Knight. We got Mirage Swordsman. I do love me some Mirage Knight, but that is not quite not quite the Dark Flare Knight. Not quite. We are a little bit bummed. You know, maybe Konami one day will one day value Dark Flare Knight because it is a Dark Magician and Flame Swordsman version. Like, it, it's a fusion. How could they not? Just look at it. It is the, one of the coolest fusion monsters out there. And what a perfect set to give us something awesome for it. We got a Salamander the Flying Flame Dragon. But this would have been a perfect set. You know, we're doing all the Pyro stuff, the Flame Swordsman retrain, support, archetype, all that stuff, Salamandra, blah, 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 blah. Why not give us something with Dark Flare Knight? Anywho, there's my ramble. There's my tangent. Emergency, we've got the Totem Pole. Rescue Ace Hydrant. Was this? This Was this actually in Amazing Defenders? Did they reprint that as a super already? Is it that time? I, I don't know. I don't think it is. <laughs> I know, I just, I feel like that's, that's one of the very first ones that came out in Amazing Defenders. Was it just a rare, maybe? I, I don't know, you guys gotta let me know. Ultra Geist, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that one. The Totem Pole, and another Rescue Ace card. Well, you know, we've gotten, what, two Ultras so far? We are definitely more than halfway, or, you know, just, just about halfway on our 18 packs. Cracking into them to see what we're gonna get. Earthbound Prisoner, Junk Synchron, here we go, what do we got? We got another Ultra, possibly. Synchro Chase. The Sun God Unification, and it is the Bonfire Baby. We are lighting it up. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to my channel members. Cardbreaker GT came by, stole the show. Yes, Cody actually took home the Collector's Rare, but Bonfire might actually be more than the Ancient Chant Collector's Rare. Well, uh, yeah, that just, that just happened. We got us uh, some pretty good stuff. I'm sorry to all my Box Breakers. I, uh, not Box Breakers, I keep saying that because, you know, Box Break, you know, free Box Break channel members. Sorry guys, I do love you, but uh, yeah, that that just happened. <laughs> that just happened. We got the contain the doppel warrior. I'm not expecting anything else from the rest of these packs because I believe. Wait, we've actually we've got one more ultra to go. One more ultra. We've only got three. We got the bonfire, the ancient chant, and that synchro synchro fusion some something card. But we got one more to go. Uh, well, it should be at least unless we got some weird air air box earthbound. Matchback to Raccoon Boon Buku. Isn't this? I think this is one of the collector's rares as well. Like, that guy is just adorable. Well, this opening has been quite the roller coaster of emotions for myself and for my channel members included. I, uh, I'm sorry, guys. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Cardbreaker's got to take the win every now and again. You guys always get the dub. It's my time to get the dub. <laughs> got the contain, the Ashoka pillar. Let's see what our last possible ultra is going to be. I think Ancient Chant and Bonfire. Obviously, Bonfire is the. The number one card in the set, uh, as far as ultras go, probably collector's rares as well. We're gonna see uh, see what our last one's gonna be. We got in the Mad Specter Raccoon. Let's see what our last potential ultra rare can be. So if we can get some some crazy value back from these boxes, that's just I, I can't believe that. Uh, two boxes, two random boxes that actually K Dragon sourced for me, and we pulled the bonfire and a collector's rare. That is just insane. Ultra guys, oh here we go. What do we get? Triangle O. The Extinguish, and into the Photon Delta Wing. I don't believe... I, I can't remember. I, I think I saw somebody like sharing that card as possibly like maybe about $10 or so. I don't know what it's played in. I have ab absolutely no clue. I was kind of thinking that that trap card... I don't remember the name of it, but I know there's some trap card that's around like $30 or so that's super popular right now. So we're just going to flip through these last ones couple kind of quick. Got the Terra again, Earthbound, and the Alert. Yeah, these we've definitely got some amazing Defenders re, uh, retrain, not retrains, but reprints in here. So I'm pretty sure Alert was a super. Uh, you guys got to correct me if I'm wrong, but these just look really familiar. Supreme King, the Horned Saurus, yeah, Salamandra. So we didn't finish with a Collector's Rare on my side, but I can't be upset one bit at all. To pull what we pulled, honestly, for myself and for the channel members, what an incredible opening this has been. Maze of Memories. We're going to have to come back and make some more amazing memories from this set. I do have to give a massive shout out to our channel members, Rare Hunter X, Sargoni666, K Dragon, Mark Donnelly, Cody Slater, Attention Duelist, Josh Evans, Michael P. Sutton, Call Me Corey Ray, Lazy Dane, Ricardo Espinoza Salazar, and Drew E. Thank you all for supporting the channel. I do hope you have a nice day. Hope you have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.